From defeating Big Mom to clashing with Blackbeard, Law is turning out to be one of the most powerful characters in the entire series. What's up y'all, Shadex here, and today we're going to be talking about Trafalgar Law's powers and abilities. So if you don't know, Law ate the Ope Ope no Mi, or the Op Op fruit. To put it simply, this fruit allows him to create a spherical space called a room. He can only spawn one room at a time, but this drawback doesn't really matter since inside of the room, Law can manipulate pretty much anything he wants to. Cutting ships in half, making objects levitate, swapping places with somebody, the sky is the limit with this fruit power. To go into more detail though, Law creates a room by projecting it from his hand. He can make the room as small or as large as he wants, but it will always come in the shape of a sphere. To put this into perspective, Law was able to generate a room over the entirety of Onigashima, a small city. And while that may not sound like much, this allowed him to teleport onto the island from miles away. Now obviously this OP ability has a drawback, being its stamina usage. The larger the room and more attacks he uses, takes away more and more of Law's stamina. This could be bad for extended fights, but Law rarely gets into them because of his broken abilities. For instance, by using an ability called Amputate, Law can cut pretty much everything and every body inside of a room, as long as they're not using crazy amounts of hockey. This ability can't kill someone, but rather just immobilizes them, since, well, not having your own head attached to your body is kinda distracting. Amputate is an insane ability on its own, but Law has even more, such as shocking someone with an electrical current, swapping the places between items and himself, powerful blasts that can destroy someone from the inside out, and many, many, many more. Like all Paramecia fruits, the Ope Ope no Mi can awaken as well. These powers were first seen in Law's battle with Big Mom, where he's shown putting a K room or a Kroom on his sword. With this, he was able to stretch the blade and easily stab Big Mom as a result. Another power that Law has access to is Reroom. Reroom is a space that attaches itself to the opponent, and Law can put specific abilities within this room, such as Silence. Anything you say or do within the room cannot be heard from the outside, as well as the influence that you cause on the outside. With all of these techniques, Law became half the reason why Big Mom was defeated. Yes, Big Mom, one of the four emperors, was defeated by both Kid and Law. Oh, and by the way, this was in her strongest form, even more powerful than when she clashed with Kaido. So Law's fruit powers don't completely carry him, as he's also somewhat of a swordsman. This sword is called Kikoku, and while it's not a Meido, it is a cursed blade. Kikoku has stayed by Law throughout his entire journey as well. To put into perspective how crazy that is, Law has clashed with Doflamingo's strings multiple times. These strings are virtually indestructible, I mean, even an admiral couldn't break through them. Now Law isn't a master of the sword or anything like that, but he is an extremely skilled doctor, being able to perform crazy operations not only by himself, but by using his powers as well. Also, Law's epithet is the Surgeon of Death. So that should already speak to how skilled he is. As for his hockey usage, Law is able to use basic observation and armament. No advanced applications since he barely uses hockey to begin with. However, it is important to mention that in chapter whatever the fuck, Law was able to counter the effects of a Paramecia Devil Fruit by just emitting hockey basically. This changed him from a fucking badass waifu back to normal. Post Wano, Law is easily above characters such as Katakuri or Marco, and if you were to say that he's admiral level, then I would have no problems with that. See, Luffy fresh off of fighting Katakuri did absolutely no damage to Kaido in his gear 4th form, but after training throughout the Wano arc, Luffy is able to damage Kaido in base. Law along with Kid and the others were able to fight alongside this Luffy, dealing damage to Kaido as well. In fact you can argue that Zoro was actually stronger than Luffy for a minute there, but that's a separate video. You can obviously tell where I'm going with this, at this point, Law is easily above most commanders in the series and probably able to defeat admirals now. Some may say, well he's actually just a support character, yeah no. Law is shown reacting to and tagging both emperors throughout the Battle of Onigashima. The fact that he tag-teamed Big Mom in her strongest form should be proof enough as to where he stands. Like, do y'all remember the days when it was inconceivable for this bitch to be damaged, let alone on the brink of death? 
I don't know, man. It's still crazy how some people want to downplay this guy. But anyways, that pretty much does it for this video. And I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you've shown throughout this past year. I couldn't have made it this far without you. And I know for a fact that by the end of next year, we're going to have over 300,000 subscribers. I know that is going to happen. That is not something that I believe. That is not something that I want. I just know that that's going to happen. But anyways, that got way off topic. And, uh, you know, next week I'll see y'all with a Warlords video. But it's not like an explained video. It's going to be power scaling. Bye!